Magic Man, Monday the the with magician Scott Pepper, and you are going to do a major trick because you've got a major prop next yes, to you right uh, now. Yes, I, I like to try and keep it new for you guys. You, know, okay. you have me on there so much that I try to show you something brand new every time. Uh -huh. So, All right. uh, you ready for this? We yeah. are. We're going to play a little game. So I need okay. you to stand okay. over here, and you're going to okay. play along with me here. All right. We've got this uh, kind of cool little box here, which we're going to play with, and you guys can see this. And I've also got this board, which I'm going to put on right here. Yeah. Okay. This is like my drawing board. I'm going to draw something. You just have to guess what it is. But here's the difficult thing is I'm terrible at drawing. So this is going to be interesting. Okay. So have a look. I'm going to draw something here and you just kind of shout out. And it's going to be kind of linked to what we're talking about later. Um, it's a fish. Uh, kind of, yeah, bigger than that. It's an airplane. Whale. A, a what? Oh, oh. Whale. A whale. A whale, yeah. Okay. It kind of looks like a whale, right? Uh, okay. Not, sure. I'll right. give you that. Well, here's the cool thing. Right. This box is very cool. Whatever you draw actually becomes real. No! In this case... Okay, that's cool. Put him up there again. <laughs> Let's try this again, because this is a lot of fun. This time we'll try something else. So, All uh, right. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> this is a bit more... Well, you'll guess it. Yeah, I don't want to tell you. Okay, here we go. A kind of a bit uh, more magic based, bicycle. I guess. A, Wait. A, a bunny. Uh, no. Oh, a bear. you want to say? A bear. Bunny. Bear. bunny. A bunny. Yeah, bunny. Okay. Well, if I put the ears in, Fiona, you'll see. Yes, it is oh, indeed. Ah. Uh, that's a little bit better than the uh, the whale, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good drawing, actually. Then we should that have looks like a bunny. our own little <gasps> bunny as well. Oh, oh my gosh. There and he I'm is. Where are there. they coming from? Wall back. Let's try fantastic. this one more time. Okay. This is going to be the most difficult one, guys. So uh, fingers on the buzzers. Here we go. Okay. All right, I'll start you off easy. Okay. okay. Um, what do you think? I don't know the yet. The sun okay. coming over the mountains. <laughs> that could be, right? Could be. Let's uh, add a few more things in here. Okay, and um, maybe what? this I'm... and okay. What? It's a person now sitting in a chair. Now, if I do this, yeah, okay. this isn't my best artwork, but I put a big smiley face and maybe Ow, some a eyelashes. A person. A, a lady. Yeah. That, that kind of gives it away a little bit more, right? A lady that is lounging. There you go. Yes. A lady that is lounging. Now, as I said, anything you draw becomes real. In this case, here she is, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my The God. lovely <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> Come on out, Jessica. Okay, that... Thank you very much. Okay, that amazes me. <laughs> How... Okay, yeah. Now, are these some of the... the tricks what? that you do at uh we're going to talk more about that sea world and yes doing that's why i drew the whale okay. see because mm -hmm. the kind of the sea world reference okay. there but we're going to show you the trick that we showed you a little bit earlier okay all right yes. so, um, three different cars your turn all right. is okay. yeah, so, all right so yeah, here we go do the same thing so you can't show us how you did that one but you can show us how you did the, do this one right? absolutely okay yes, we're yes. gonna learn something now Obviously, we've done this trick before. Mm -hmm. One of the rules of magic is never do a trick twice because if you do it twice, people are going to figure it out. So okay. let's pretend we didn't do it the He's first time. He's trying to figure it out right <laughs> now. Okay, here we go. You have a free choice of any of these cards. You can pick any one you like. You can change your mind as many times as you like. But which card would you like? Okay. Now, remember, I already oh! know what you're going to pick. I already know. So go ahead. Pick it. Ah. I, did. I knew you were going to pick that. You do? Because during the break, I did something a little bit different to these What'd cards. You do? Uh, well, if I turn these over, you see there's nothing on the back, but I knew you were going to pick the Five of Diamonds because it's the only card that says, Oh my gosh. This card. <laughs> uh, How'd you do it? Now, okay. I said Mike, it might have a question. Look, what's look, your Mike, question, Mike? What are you question? thinking right now? He always has You're a going, question. You're going, What if what? You know, what if this would happen? What if the two was. Picked? Exactly, there we go. <laughs> what if the two was happened? So let's try it. So, Mike, you have a free choice of any of these cards. You can pick any one you want. The Queen of Clubs, Five of Diamonds, Two of Clubs, either way, I know which one you're going to pick. Which one would you like? The two. Two of Clubs? I knew you were going to pick the two of Clubs. How'd you Mike? know that? Because I made a prediction so yeah. clear you couldn't miss it. On the back of this avocado stained envelope now, it says, You will choose the two <laughs> of Clubs. Uh, now, some people at home are still going, wow, how is he doing that? But let's break it down and show you. You need three cards okay. and three outcomes. So I have the piece of paper in the envelope. <laughs> I have the three cards that go in the envelope. Now, the important thing is, is the cards start from the envelope. You can't just have the cards and then bring in the envelope afterwards. But if you bring the cards out of the envelope, don't do that. <laughs> Place them down, one, two, three, and the envelope stays there. So now, if you pick the five of diamonds, which I think is the best result, you just flip it over and show the that you wrote that prediction. Uh, and what are they going to do? They're going to grade up these ones and go uh, like that. And if they pick the Queen of Clubs, you don't say anything about the back of the cards and you just reach in and take the prediction from the 
inside of the envelope. And if they say the two of clubs, you just flip over the envelope and show them the prediction. <laughs> now, the only thing you have to do with this trick is remember what you wrote where. You <laughs> you know, if they pick the two of clubs, you don't want to go, hey, well, look, inside this envelope is nothing. Two of clubs, there it is. So that you can make with three and playing cards, an envelope, and a piece of paper. And it's one of my favorite kind of prediction tricks. Uh, That's fantastic. I, I right? love stuff like right? that. Weren't cool. you just amazed? I was still I, amazed even knowing how to do I it. Was. I'm still amazed. <laughs> yeah, and folks can be amazed by going to your shows, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we got a lot going on. In October. It's At exciting. Sea World. Sea World, the Jack is Back show. Yeah, so they're they're making it very magic based this year, and uh, they're going to see some of my cool illusions. You're going to see a version of the one you just seen, and some other really cool stuff. And it's an amazing show. They've been doing that uh, a lot, a lot okay. yeah, many, many years. And now. and also uh, at the zoo. Yes, and S there, the San Antonio Zoo, their Zoo Boo is yeah. their, their activity there. And every Saturday, you can catch me there in the afternoon, uh, about 12:30, doing the Mad Magic uh, uh, Science and Mystery Show. It's pretty okay. cool. So. Right. That's fantastic. Right. Well, you if you'd like more information about Scott Pepper, mm -hmm. you saw it on the screen. Just yeah. head to our website, salive.com, for more information. All right. Are you ready for some food magic? Okay, this is really, really interesting. It is Bubble Waffle Bar, and they serve up some really, really creative treats. Take a look. Yeah. Hey, it's David Elder with SA Live. Located right across the street from John Marshall High School is a place that's making all the best and unique Asian desserts here in San Antonio, and it's all at one spot. Talk about Bubble Waffle Bar. We're gonna go inside and see how they make their savory, sweet, and just outright crazy treats that you gotta come out here and try. The Bubble Waffle Bar is a paradise for wild dessert enthusiasts. Come by and see us and taste our delicious treats. The selection and variety of Asian treats goes far beyond anything else in San Antonio. We have a little bit of everything. Milkshakes, we have the, the waffle, uh, fun environment. And the best part, everything tastes amazing. That was really good. The owner opened the Bubble Waffle Bar a few months ago because of his passion for Asian cuisine. I'm a kitchen guy big time. I'm the one that does the cooking at home all the time. A lot of pastry, a lot of snacks. I put that in, into our dessert. The Waffle Bar specializes in bubble teas, milkshakes, and bubble waffles, including savory options like spicy chicken. Here we go. Take a bite out of it. That's good. And tasty chicken wraps. They get the bubble waffle that you are used to getting on all their sweet treats, but they offer the savory version. Look at that. avocado, onion, lettuce, tomato, fried chicken, and creamy sriracha. We're going to give it a try here, okay? That's fantastic. Feeling wild? Check that out. Their cotton candy wrap is an instant classic with wild flavored ice cream wrapped in fresh cotton candy. Cotton candy, ice cream, sauce, and fruity pebbles on top. I'm going for a bite. Tastes like a carnival. Not to mention that they're the only joint in San Antonio with the fun to eat ice treat, Dragon's Breath. This dessert was made popular last year in California and has finally made its way to San Antonio. If you, when you put them in your mouth, you'll taste, you'll taste like three pebbles, like a cereal. The Bubble Waffle Bar makes these tasty treats with liquid nitrogen, making it a thrill-seeking and exciting experience. You get your dragon's breath, you dip it in the sauce. There we go. That oh, froze my teeth. The Waffle Bar is well-versed in wild milkshakes and ice cream tacos. you got to come get your ice cream taco. Oh, really? Making it the perfect spot for families and friends to come out and enjoy their Dragon's Breath dessert and their savory chicken waffle wraps. All right, so you got to make your way on out here to the Bubble Waffle Bar. they got crazy stuff. Look at this. This is a gourmet, crazy milkshake. Looks kind of like a person. Come on out to the Bubble Waffle Bar. It's like a candy shop on a milkshake. How do you even approach this? For SA Live. I love this place. <laughs> I'm David Elder. Oh, uh, yeah. That was David with the scoop. And he is eating his way through San Antonio. Yes, yes, he and is. And beyond. And that did look like a person. <laughs> yeah. That's what, that's what JR just said. JR uh, Gallegos. Correct. And so, okay, the, the Dragon's Breath. We have these little, you said it's almost like... A, a big a giant fruity, like fruity pebbles. pebbles. Okay. Fruity pebbles, pebbles, Captain Crunch taste. Mm -hmm. And kind of sweet. And then what do you do to it? All right, fire it up. We add some liquid nitrogen to it. It's a Monday for the nitrogen. Yeah. Can, you want me to hold it's, something it's my, here? It's my left. Okay. It's my left. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Can, some, can you hold yeah, this? Yeah, I'll hold this. There we go. There we go. Now, how... 
Is that 300 degrees? 300, 300 below. Uh -huh. 321 so, below. So those things are all of a sudden just frozen solid mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long do they stay that cold? For a while? A uh, little bit. Doesn't Not that much because it's it evaporates. Okay. Now, can you can you touch it or do you need to you spear can, it? You, you, you can touch it uh -huh. uh, as long as it doesn't have any liquid. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. You can put it in your mouth. All right. Come on, a little bit more. I need any more. There we go. No more stuff on there. That's cool looking when you do it. Okay, now spirit. No. Okay, it's super cold. There you go. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of cool. Okay. And where are you located? At 7755 Ecker Road. Now, I love this. Look, you can dip it, right? When you have different. You can, we have different uh, uh, dipping sauces mm -hmm. also. All right. I'm trying to. <laughs> smoke ring. So, they are. Thank you very Go much. Go find your inner dragon at Bubble Waffle Bar. All right. Coming up, the art of accessorizing the do's and don'ts from Eye Candy Boutique. And two words stuffed avocados. Fox Street Social is here to give you a taste of the food truck showdown that is coming up. Accessorizing can be tricky, especially if you're going with um, things that could be multiple colors or different sizes. So Elsa Fernandez from Eye Candy Boutique is going to show you how to do it right with the art of the accessory. Exactly. Thanks for having me, you guys. We're here to talk about the ever so intimidating sometimes accessory. So um, what we want to remind everybody is that you kind of want to split yourself into quadrants. Okay. So that way you have the, or halves, you have the top half, which focuses on the necklaces and the earrings. Mm -hmm. and then you have your bottom half, of course, with your um, bracelets and rings. So when you're balancing out, you want to make sure that you have the proportions together. So if you have a bigger statement necklace, mm -hmm. you have something more dainty as far as an earring is concerned. Um, same rule with like rings and bracelets. If you have a big statement ring, you want to make sure that your bracelets are more on the small side. A statement necklace like this would ideally be with an off the shoulder top, a scoop neck t-shirt or a v-neck top. So that way the focus is on the jewelry and not the blouse itself. Um, if you're gonna have more of a statement earring, like these two here, what you wanna do if you do a necklace is to do a longer pendant necklace, so that way it's not too heavy on top. And then you wanna make sure that you go like really light, if anything, on the bracelets. As far as the bracelet and the ring, um, if you are gonna have wear both at the same time, it's easier to balance out if you have a ring on one hand and a bracelet on the other, so it's kind of like diagonal. Right, not yes. all on the same. Yes. Right, right, mm -hmm. right, right. Just a couple of ideas on how to repurpose jewelry. If you have any of your mom's or your grandma's brooches set aside, this one's actually my grandma's and this one's my mom's, so I thought they're really special to have. If you have an extra chain of a necklace hanging around, just loop the old part that you have out of it and loop it through the brooch itself. Um, and then you can have your family with you wherever you go. Oh, look at that, I love that I idea. I know, I'm gonna start to tear up. <laughs> if you have a pair of flats at home that you kinda wanna revive, or you have some clip-on earrings that you haven't used in ages, you can definitely just take one of these and snap it on whatever kind of <gasps> shoe you have. Look at that! And you can see how this one's kind of more girly, this one's a little bit more classy, but either way, it gives the red shoe a nice Judge. Yes, and a yeah. nice new look for mm -hmm. each of them, depending on which way you want to go. And, and it gives your shoe new life, too, because you can probably take it out a little more often. Exactly. Great stuff from Elsa Fernandez from Eye Candy Boutique. Tell folks where you're located and what we, you specialize in. We are on the corner of Houston and Navarro, and we specialize in plus-size clothing, XL to 3X. All right. For more information on Eye Candy Boutique, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, coming up, how this local program is preparing our future engineers. Jen Tobias Strusky takes you inside Southwest Legacy High School on the south side where local students are building eco-friendly cars. The inspiring story next.
here at Southwest Legacy High School. This is our September Cool School winner, and you know what? They are ready to celebrate. Fantastic. What a celebration. And like Jen said, Southwest Legacy High School is this month's Go Public Cool School winner. Jen Tobias Strusky, as you can see, was a part of it all. And among all the school pro programs they offer students, one program stood out from the rest. Yeah, I mean, we're not just talking the regular old reading, writing, arithmetic mm -hmm. kind of stuff. From building eco-friendly cars to meeting President Obama, the engineering club is preparing their students for a career in the engineering field. Take a look. first came they told me at Southwest that uh, you know these kids all ride the bus and they won't be able to stay after school and then they did and then they said well you know they they probably can't get here on Saturday and they did. So tell me about the cars that you guys work on. Well this is our fifth car. Um, the car that we're working on this year will be our sixth car. They're alternative energy cars. We try to make cars that are kind of futuristic and healthier for the environment. I mean sitting down in the classroom is real nice but until you go and you work on a large-scale project and especially as a team, you don't really get to have a sense of what engineering is. I'd say building a car is pretty big scale. These students at Southwest Legacy High School are using their engineering skills to aim high for the future. I want to go into aerospace engineering and hopefully work at a small R&D firm. Manny enjoys designing these battery-powered cars. Autumn Rodriguez, she's the project manager for the club. I help organize the competitions and I, I send a lot of emails and things like that. Um, I also help the, kind of keep these guys on check um, because most of them are boys, so they, they need a little bit of leadership and things like that. Guided by a very passionate instructor, Bob France, these students are being pushed to their limits, competing in electrothons across the country, including the first one in Texas that they helped to coordinate. In the third year, Dragon 2 won the whole Pensacola Electrothon, 20, 23 cars from seven states, and then we got invited to the White House. And this is Deidre Carrillo. She got to meet President Obama. We got to take Dragon 1. Uh, it, was a big, it was a big adventure uh, for a little girl from South Texas to be standing <laughs> next to the President of the United States talking about her car it was incredible. That is incredible. This club is not an elective, so all of the hard work is done on their time. We work six, eight hours every Saturday on projects, and I usually have to ask the kids to leave. So I really love engineering, and I like to encourage younger girls to be part of engineering. Right here? Yeah. Uh, either way. <laughs> kind of short. <laughs> of course, this girl had to go for a test drive to see what the rush is all about. How you doing, Freddie? I'm doing great. What about you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm, I'm sorry I laugh loud. I'm almost ready, Freddie. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Am I too loud? Well, this is so cool. One thing's for sure, this road to success would not be the same without Mr. Franz in the passenger seat rooting them on. He's really helped inspire us to move, even if not towards the team, towards what we want in life. And he's really helped us out a lot. And the team here, all the kids, we're all one big family. So, how proud are you? Oh, extremely proud. I mean, I, I'm, I'm retired and I'm back here doing this <laughs> because uh, this is my drug of choice. Watching kids be successful is a very addicting behavior. Well, we've had a great time out here at Southwest Legacy High School learning more about their engineering program. The next big electrothon race is not until March, so they'll be preparing for that. Uh, until then, you think you can take me to work, Freddie? Take ready, me to case at 12. You ready, Freddie? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Scared. Okay, that's really cool. For more information on Go Public Cool Schools, visit wegopublic.com and stay tuned next month as we'll be featuring schools from Edgewood Independent School District. All right, stuffed avocados are next, and it's going to be an out of this world foodie experience. After Welcome back to SA Live. Well, Edward Garcia from Box Street 
Social is here to give you a taste of one of the biggest events of the year. We're talking the food truck showdown, and we are doing it today with stuffed avocados. Not one way, but two ways, right? Two ways. All yes, right. So I've, I've got this going. Tell folks mm-hmm. what I have in here because it's, right. it's so right delicious. Here, we, we have some pulled pork, so we're just heating it up, mm-hmm. and that's going to be the first step. We uh, braise ours. We don't smoke it, but we throw a little bit of um, chipotle barbecue sauce on top of it so oh. it can add that. A little bit of flavor. Okay, you know? okay. And how long did you cook this for? Um, that's um, eight hours. Eight hours. Eight hours. Nice and easy, low and slow. Low it's, and slow. Yes, All ma'am. Right. It's good okay. to go. So how do we assemble? All right. So you're going to get this bad boy. All right. And then this bad boy. You're handing me the knife. There you go. All right. Okay. Can, can we do this in slow motion or no? No, let's not. <laughs> <laughs> if, I if I don't do it while, while I have momentum. Okay. There you there go. go. Oh. Ski over there. there we go. There you go. Yeah. All right, there we go. We got some right down. there. Yes, ma'am. That's one there down. Well, we're going to just scoop that bad boy out and just place it right there. Okay. This is the tricky part. Come no, on. this knife is, this uh, this uh, spoon is made oh, perfectly for this. Look, look at, at that. that. Yes. No, this spoon is perfect. Yes. Home, never come come on. Like that. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. Now, now they're going to quadruple and ply. Uh, Where price. did you get this spoon? Um, Here in Market Square somewhere. It's one of the stores. Really? Yeah, I grew up with those, so I was like, it was natural. There you go. All right. That's perfect. Seriously. I know, right? Yes. It's, it's just a, yeah. it's, it's not like an avocado scoop. No, spoon, no, right? there's different sizes. My grandma used to like hit me with it when I wouldn't be in, wouldn't get out of the kitchen. And <laughs> I hope I, I hope I didn't throw her so under the bus. Uses. So I hope I didn't throw her under the bus, you know? Okay. So, all right. So the, so the first one we're going to do is a um, spicy crab avocado. Okay. So the spicy crab avocado is supposed to um, mimic. A spicy crab sushi roll. So okay. we're going to throw a little bit of cream cheese. Okay. So you can get this bad boy. Okay. There you go. And scoop it right into the pit. There you go. So, Use, so what am I going to do? Just like this. Do we want? Okay. Like that. So about that much. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's about perfect. yay so. Okay. Yeah. You, as much or not or what not, whatever. No one's judging here. Okay. We like to uh, have them go. nice and full. Okay. Now what am I doing? All right. So you can get some of this spicy crab right here. Mm-hmm. 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 And it's just some crab with a little bit of um, spicy mayonnaise. I yeah. So that's a weird spoon. Okay. Let's talk about, <laughs> we got to talk about your oh, spoons because on. I swear I thought when I pulled it out that I broke it. <laughs> okay. No. Well, this is like, so if I'm your sautéing or whatnot <laughs> and for the sauces on a pan. Okay. But it this also works. This coming out of here. Okay. <laughs> so you just want to put it on that bad boy, just like that. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay. You can put a little more. All right. Yes. Pile it up. Pile it up. Now, yeah. how do you get it to stay? Because mine does not look like yours over there. Oh, uh, that's all good. It's it's perfect. Okay. See, the good thing about making things homemade is that it looks homemade. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, it looks homemade. Yeah, <laughs> especially mine. Yeah. <laughs> You'll never think it was store bought. Okay. All righty. There we and go. Then, that's pretty much it. So now it's the garnish, a little bit of uh, black and white sesame seeds. Ooh, some, okay. Some uh, cilantro mm-hmm. and some uh, green onions. Oh, okay. And that's it. Look at that. All right. That was you. Okay. All right. Let's fill the other one because I know right. Mike wants to come and taste this. Uh, come on. They, come, <laughs> on come on. You can come taste that. There okay. you go. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Appreciate uh-huh. that. All right. All right. So the pork's nice and heated up. Yeah. You have these two bad boys right there, right? Yes. And do put it right on top. Oh, that's it. Look that's at it. that. I oh, my God. It's gosh. easy. It's quick. If you love avocados, that's the way to go. And we have the barbecue sauce. Got it. Squirt it on there. Don't be shy. Like that? Like that. Yeah. Woo! Yes. Perfect. All right. And a little more cilantro on these bad boys, unless you don't like, unless you're the percentage that mm-hmm. it tastes like soap, then no right. cilantro. No, no, no. We love but cilantro. That's what, makes it, that's what makes it right there. Now, you are the reigning champ, and I can uh, see why on the food truck showdown. Yeah, right? I mean, it's, it's been great for us. We're humble about it. It's a, a really great team. There's a lot of great food trucks that are coming out on this one. It's, it's going to be amazing. All right. And who's participating this year? Do you know? Um, it's myself plus uh-huh. six other food trucks. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know them all offhand. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to name one and then I forget <laughs> others. Everybody else. But okay. there are six ones. Um, there are six food trucks and they're all pretty amazing. So I all think right. this is going to be the biggest and baddest one yet. Look, look, he finished the whole thing. It's magic. Y'all, y'all had magic earlier, right? <laughs> there you go. made there that avocado goes. disappear. <laughs> All right, the San Antonio Food Truck Showdown is happening October 28th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Alamo Beer Company. For ticket information, just head to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, you're going to want to stick around because we're making another sweet dish with Box Street Social, pistachio crusted salmon. We'll be right back. Well, we gave you a 
taste of the food truck throwdown coming up here. And now, this is food truck food, but you would never imagine it. Edward Garcia is back from Box Street Social, and we are making a pistachio crusted salmon. salmon. Yes, sir. Wow. So, um, with the food truck, we actually do a lot of uh, special events, private events, mm -hmm. weddings, caterings, things like that. So, this is just one of the many options that we do offer. We always sit down with the bride and groom and ask them what they want and try to really custom write a menu for them. So and this even, is one of the options. Even in a food truck, you can, there's a, I mean, just kind of get Definite, this going assembly it's line. It's a regular kitchen that just has wheels. Wow. So we go to where you're at. Okay. It's easy. So we take a nice little, uh, what about a four ounce piece of salmon right yes, there. Sir. And this is salmon. I mean, you can do it on the grill. You can, you know, do it in the pan like this. You can do it in the it's oven. It's versatile. It, yeah, it's, it's easy. It is. And you like to Definitely. leave the, the skin on. Yes, sir. Just Okay. And gonna, just to do it, a little bit of salt and pepper. Yes, sir. Okay. And I'm just going to stand back. It looks like like you got it. Got it under control. <laughs> it's, it's easy to sprinkle salt and pepper. So. <laughs> and even if somebody, um, you know, because a lot of times people say they don't want a lot of salt in their food or something mm -hmm. like that. But a little bit of salt, you, you have to put some on there, it definitely, right? It's, it's a flavor enhancer. If it tastes salty, that means you put too much. Okay. Because yeah, there's, there's something about, like, the chemical reaction or whatever that the salt does that makes the... Yeah, the that, and that's why I say it's, it's a, a flavor enhancer. Not, it, if, you, if it tastes salty, then just, just put too much. And then also when you put salt on the, the top of something, like a burger or whatever, it also draws the moisture out, so mm -hmm. then it gets that good crust on it. Yes. A little bit better and, than good and, sear. And that's what we're going to create right now. It's okay. Good so let's get... So you, you can turn it over okay. and just press it down. Oh, yeah. press it really good. Yeah. So it kind of sticks. Don't be yes, shy sir. with this. Yes, sir. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. There you go. Perfect. All right. So we're going to get this, wanna... this, this pan to get a little warm. Okay. All right. Once it gets warm, so we're going to put skin side down um, just so it can get a little crispy. Okay. Yes, sir. And you can eat the skin, right? You can eat 100% eat the skin. Okay. Especially once it's crispy. I mean, it's just, it's almost like a chicharron. Oh. Salmon skin chicharron. Okay. Yes, and, sir. And it's got some of the, the good fat in there. Yeah, which is definitely. That, that salmon fat. Yes, so, sir. So yes, in sir. The, the skillet, uh, about how long would you cook this? Um, it just depends on the thickness of the salmon. So this would probably be like two minutes on, on each side, more or less. Mm -hmm. But it just depends on the thickness of the, of the loin that you get, for one. And I like mine a little medium-ish. Some people like the salmon and all their meat completely cooked. So okay. that's just on preference, you know what so I mean? So you can do it so it's a little, I know salmon's pink anyway, but mm -hmm. a little pinker yes. Yeah, no, definitely. Inside, so. Oh, yeah, that's the best. Okay. And what's best about salmon is if you buy the whole loin, you bet too much, you can always eat it cold the next day. You can warm it up. It's, it's still going to be great. That's what's great about the salmon piece, you know what you I mean? Can, you can make a little uh, kind of a, not a chicken salad, but almost like a salmon salad sandwich. 100%, 100%. Okay. Yes, sir. I put it in omelet it's, sometimes, it's too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I it's versatile. It. You can uh, th throw it in pasta next day. You can make it bag uh, bagel. So Now, how do you, the that pecans, is. pecans, excuse me, the pistachios won't yes, come off of there, right? Because um, they're in. I mean, they uh, might fall off a little a, bit. A little bit. And why we throw, why we put it skin side down as well, so it won't burn. So we don't want to get the pan too, too hot with mm -hmm. the pistachios so that it doesn't burn. You know, because no one wants really like that right. flavor. So we're just letting the salmon uh, skin crisp up. So you can kind of see it when I flip it over. See how it's okay. nice and crispy? Yeah. And then could you, once you um, brown the other side, would mm -hmm. you cover it a little bit to let it kind of bake um, in there somewhat? Yeah, or not no? really cover it. If you want to then toss it in the oven for a couple minutes just so you can okay. then start on like some of your veggies or something else. And that's definitely something that um, you can do. Just to finish it. And then also yes, by, by putting a kind of a crust on there mm -hmm. with the nuts, mm -hmm. it's going to help to seal in some of the juices too. Yeah, right? it's, it's going to be great. And it's going to have that textural difference because the salmon is nice and silky. Smooth, and with the bite of the pistachio, I mean, it's just going to be great. And I noticed you have a little bit of a sauce, sauce going with that. Yeah, so right here, um, just because of the saltiness and then the creaminess of the, uh, of, of the salmon, mm -hmm. uh, we put a little bit of um, a chipotle crema oh, right wow. on top. And you want to squeeze some lime on that bad boy? It's, it's just meant to be. Okay, don't mind if I yes, do. Yes, sir. And once again, the food truck showdown is going to be when? Um, October 28th, October 28th, company. yeah, from 11 to 4, um, seven food trucks out there is going to be amazing, there's a lot of great trucks out there, um, so come on out, and uh, if you're looking for just a different type of wedding, we're definitely the people to call. Oh, heavens, That's right. that, with the pistachios on there, that is absolutely fantastic, I love Sorry. that. Edward Garcia, thank you, Fox Street Social, for more information, of course, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, coming up tomorrow on SA Live, this place will definitely hit your sweet spot. Jen Tobias Strusky takes you to Bernie for a look inside Sugar Shack. Boy, that name says it all. Find out what Spurs player makes an occasional stop here. That's all tomorrow at 1. Stay with us. 
Who are you? Well, if you've got wrinkles, crow's feet, those, they can be annoying under eye bags sometimes, get ready to be amazed. What if you could get rid of them in just a few minutes? No, for real, just a couple of minutes and you can watch it happening. Lifestyle consultant Scott DeFalco is here to share the secrets of this amazing new technology. Every time I see this <laughs> and it unfolds before my eyes, yes. it blows my mind. Fiona, it is not a secret anymore. Plexiderm has <laughs> taken social media in the country by storm. I've been promoting fashion and beauty products on television for over five years, never seen anything like Plexiderm. And I brought a video of my good buddy Richie. I call him Richie Bags. Richie Fiona. Bags. Yes, there I is. think you can see why. He's got some issues going on under those eyes and what he's doing right now Fiona is rubbing a small amount of plexiderm under that right eye and what you witness in real time over the next say three to three and a half minutes is going to shock you because the appearance of it is going to completely go away. You're going to watch those we are gonna see bags it. under I his eyes start I was actually in the room when we shot this. Well, it's funny. We pulled him from the accounting office and said, hey, Richie, you want to be in our new commercial? He's like, sure. What do you want me to do? And as you can see from the look on his face, he wasn't too happy. But after it was over, he was, trust me. But I was in the room when we shot this video with the executives, and we just exploded at the end because we knew we had a special product on our hands. Now, we're going to keep that there so y'all yeah. can watch this happen in real time and watch it start to work yep. and that product take effect. While we're watching that happen, let's look at some before and after pictures. Yeah, and the only thing more amazing than the science behind Plexiderm are the before and afters, Fiona. And look at the difference there. Plexiderm is going to take no longer than 10 minutes to work. Some people three, some people four. I mean, it's just amazing how much fresher and younger that they look. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, in just three to four minutes, the difference under your eyes. So, I mean... How do you apply it? Just like we saw? You just, just like we saw, Richie. It's completely topical. No painful injections. No expensive doctor visits. And I'm going to bring up a term that people are familiar with, Fiona, mm. called collagen. Mm. Okay, because over time, I like to say gravity sucks. <laughs> It really does. And collagen, which is responsible for the elasticity in your uh, skin, degrades over time. And that's why you get the sags right. and the wrinkles and the bags. But now with Plexiderm, it's completely topical. And as you're seeing, it works in minutes. It works in minutes. Can you use it under makeup? That's a great question. I get that all the time uh, from women. And you know, the reason why we use guys is because their bags are so much more pronounced and their wrinkles are more pronounced and they don't wear makeup. They don't. So it's uh, <laughs> much more visible on them. And that's why we have oh, mic hair as that. you're seeing. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that person on the left, as you're seeing, Fiona, is a groupie. The person on the right is a rock star, okay? Yeah. And I mean the right eye, not the right side of your screen. <laughs> and we all want to be rock stars. Plexiderm is going to help you do that. But as far as makeup's concerned, uh, you're going to put Plexiderm on a clean, dry face, and then you're going to wait 10 minutes because it's going to take no longer than 10 minutes to work. Then if you want to use, and here's Lisa right now mm -hmm. with the before, after, and after makeup. Wow. Uh, if you want to use a moisturizer, we want you to use an oilless based moisturizer because most moisturizers have oil in them and that will counteract the effectiveness of Plexiderm. So oh, clean dry know. face, yeah. Mm -hmm. Clean dry face, wait 10 minutes, oilless based moisturizer if you want to use one and then your makeup is normal. That's it, it's that simple. So let's check in with Richie Bags oh, right now for his real time is. results. And he is Richie Bags, no <laughs> more Fiona. So yeah, like every I said, single time. It was every awesome, time. it was awesome. And he actually grabbed a mirror when we were done and looked at himself and said, hey, I look great, but can you please do the other eye before you send me back <laughs> right? out? So like, we please, did not send him out with just one eye. Right. Out there. So there is a deal for our viewers right now who are yes. watching. Yes, for your SA Live viewers, if you call the 1-800 number, we'll put up on your screen or go to Plexiderm.com. We have 50% off plus free shipping, Fiona. It's a deal you can't pass up. It's really good. All right, there it is. 50% off plus free shipping. And look at that. It works in minutes. Just call 800-906-0773. That's 800-906-0773. Or head to Plexiderm.com for more information. Little it is the little things. Okay, this is, hold on, it's sideways, hang on. I, okay, Kay does this. Thanks for being so awesome. Love dad, mom, Colt, uh, Sadie, Sadie and, and Rocky. Rocky. And it's a tank, I love it. Oh, my eight-year-old included oh, there we the go. names of our two dogs at the end with all of our initials oh. to the tank wheels. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, that's just the sweetest thing in the world. Right? Look at you. You got teary-eyed. I love it. Okay, tomorrow on SA Live, this place will definitely hit your sweet spot. Jen Tobias Strusky takes you inside Sugar Shack, a hidden gem that's just a short drive away in Bernie. It's so good, even Spurs players stop there so you can run into them. Ooh, and we're also taking you back in time with a new vintage bar opening this month. We're shaking things up and taking you back to the 60s. That's all tomorrow at 1. Yes, my wife said that my youngest did something. The oldest gave him a thumbs up, and I was like... Yeah.
I got teary edges, really? I do.